so you guys guess what let me move a little bit closer is this a little bit closer i don't know what i'm talking about but okay this is as close as i can get and that my space in my teeny weeny room will allow me to get to you guys so what's new is i got a new piercing in my ear i got a tragus piercing you can see that it looks pretty neat looks really neat and i also got my belly button repairs and that's nothing new but i got a repairs today and i got a pierce about one something this afternoon as well like 1 30 ish yeah 1 30 ish about this afternoon and uh, i got a pierce in raleigh north carolina and i go to the same piercer that has done my face piercings and i've does that have done yeah they have done my face piercings and they have also done my belly button piercing and my other piercings that i got in my ear i've done multiple most <sighs> i can't speak the same people that done my tragus piercing they have also done my face piercings and they've done my belly button piercing however i did not go to them to get my ear piercings um of course the baby piercing is the first one i've gotten when i was a baby i have done multiple by myself and i have gotten the other three um done at walmart same price so the tragus piercing only cost me 10 bucks and they don't charge much for a piercing which is pretty awesome and i actually trust that shop for me to go back four times well for me to go back yeah four times to get a tattoo and to go back three times to get piercings so they've done an outstanding job and i really commend them for that um so i can tell you guys about my experience from today about me getting my tragus pierced for the first time I got my right one done. I didn't get the left one done because I sleep on my left side. And it will be stupid if I would get both done. And I can't sleep. So, I, I love sleep. So, the pain tolerance in the trig is from a scale 1 being the least painful and 10 being the most painful. I would say it was about a 6.5 to a 7. And it would have been at least like a 5. However... He, of course, when you're a piercer, they want to like make sure that it's on there and they're secure. And they also have to screw the ball on there. So that's the only thing that really made the score go up like a little bit higher. But it's not too high. Um, and it kind of moved too slow a little bit. But that's only because I had him talking and I wanted him to keep talking me throughout the whole process. Because I did not want it to be like really quiet in that freaking space and i'm just sitting there just waiting to get my piercing finished but he made it a really nice experience uh, for me the same it the same shop however this was a different guy i don't know what happened to the other piercer but they have pretty much really reputable um piercers that work there so i really trust that company or i really trust that shop to do my piercings and to do my tattoos and stuff but overall um i mean they were pretty cool um really like talkative about the whole situation um he really didn't say much i'm pretty sure he might have assumed that i knew what i was doing because all the other piercings in my ear i know how to take care of them um it's not that hard when you have the spray and a q-tip so and just try not to hit it because it's going to be sore also for my belly button piercing since i've gotten gotten it reopened and it's already broken tissue that's being broken again it hurt a little bit more this time and i'll say that's more on the scale of seven for it to be in the worst closer to like it was really painful it didn't hurt it was just the fact that my belly button is weird and he's the second person that said it was weird and my skin is tougher. So not sure what he meant by that, but he said that my skin was tough 
for the ring to go through, for the needle and the ring to go through. So it's probably why it hurt a little bit more. That was more on the seven scale of it and stuff. But other than that, I'm glad I got it over with. The tragus was more of a spare of the moment right then and there. I just found out that I wanted it. However, I initially went to go get my belly button pierced. And I've been thinking about getting a repierced for the longest. And I just felt like today is the day. I'm about to turn 23 in about a few weeks. So why not treat myself? I've been treating myself for the past four days. And it felt really nice that I really owe it to myself that I do work hard. So why not do something for myself that I can appreciate? And that's what piercings and tattoos do for me. And also wearing makeup and, you know, have, you know, pretty much stuff that you will appreciate for yourself. Do it for you and don't do it for anybody else. I mean, I want to see why getting a piercing before someone else, for someone else. But I just thought I could do that for myself. And the piercing for my belly button piercing was only $16. And like I said, the Tragus is only 10 So I initially came out $26. And I tipped him $4 because I was thinking that I was going to have to come up with $30 because he might have raise the prices. But, you know, tip your piercers and tip your tattoo artists and tip your barbers if they do a good job. If they do a good job. If they don't do a good job, then that's the price you have to pay for going to somebody that has done a sloppy job. And give you a sloppy experience but I tip my I always tip my piercers and I always tip I always tip anybody honestly even if they like bring my food like a waiter or um, a bartender I tip them um because it's the courteous thing to do and of course it's their job they have to live and I have to live too but still um but yeah like today is the first day of the piercing and say is the first day of Today's the first day of my tragus into um, piercing. And today's the first day of me getting my belly button repierced. But I do swear by this stuff. Out of... And I only get this stuff... I got this in the mall. I should have got it when I was there at the parlor. The tattoo parlor. But I figured I was going to see it again at the mall. This is only 10 bucks, So it's not bad. Um, you spray six, three to six times a day. I gotta spray it. I didn't spray it since I got it done. But the stuff right here is just nothing but sea salt. I was gonna make my own and try to be cheap about it, but I'm like, why be cheap and risk getting an infection when I could just spend 10 bucks and just spray it and call it a day? It's not like I gotta get a Q-tip or a cotton swab and just, you know, put it on there. I'm, I'm not doing all that. But besides getting the extra spray off my skin from dripping but other than that just spray it and call it a day and i'm pretty sure they have plenty of reviews on youtube about this go look up those youtube go look at those videos on youtube and watch the freaking reviews yourself i can go into an explanation why i love this stuff but it's just common sense just spray the damn freaking piercing and call it a day that's all i gotta say but I really appreciate you guys for watching and thanks for sticking with me. If you guys want to know more, um, I could do like an update, like a, a bi-weekly or a weekly update on my tragus and how it's healing, how I'm cleaning it, what I do to um, clean it, how I'm going to clean it with this stuff. I can do a video for that if you guys want me to make a separate video or several videos to update it. And I can do the same thing for my belly button piercing if you're also thinking about getting your belly button pierced. If you want to, I can do that for you guys. I don't mind because you guys are starting to become like my cousins. Oh my gosh, the fam is getting big. It is getting big. Oh my gosh. I'm just so like thankful for you guys that you're watching my videos. But... To all my cousins out there that's watching this, I appreciate you. I love you. Stay beautiful, blessed, and handsome. If you're a girl and guy, or if you identify as one of them, then thank you so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.